months on now from that season ending injury and you've had your first week back in training, what's that been like for you? Uh, it's a bit surreal to be honest, uh, never in a million years did I think I was going to be back this quickly. We um, went for some, some hard times uh, throughout the, uh, especially the first part of it, the first half, but the last three months have really taken off, you know, a lot of the hard work we did in the start start to build off towards the end, so um, no, I'm just really excited, I'm really grateful to, to be able to come back and, and start training again. And it is rapid progress considering that injury. What did you put that down to? Uh, it was, it's more down to um, a mental, mental toughness, um, a, determ a determination, a will to, to come back. It, I sort of surprised myself a little bit. You know, I went through some times where I broke down and then there were there some dark days where I'd be crying and, and you know, I'd be quite honest about it. But you know, I had a very good support system. Um, you know, my girlfriend at home and my mum and, and you know, Nav at the club, you know, he was there from 24-7 from the start all the way to the end. You know, he really helped me throughout the dark days and look, I, I'm, a, I'm a competitor, I'm a sportsman, I want to be playing at the top, top of my game and, um, you know, the, that drive to want to get back on the field was, was the only thing that was keep dragging me through and I was really excited, you know, as the week went on, I could see improvements and, um, you know, luckily for me now, uh, I'm back training the boys. Last November, when you were on crutches, you were at a panel event, I remember asking you, whether you thought that going through adversity like this would help your growth as a player and a person. Now coming through on the other side, do you think that's been the case? Massively. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, um, you know, what was my, uh, is, that my, is this my greatest achievement? Um, from a life point of view, this is, you know, my biggest achievement there is. Um, you know, I never in, in a million years um, thought from, if, from the extent of the injury that I'll be back training at this time anyway. Um, and having been told, you know, by the surgeon that it was, you know, potentially, you know, 50, 50 whether or not I'd be coming back, um, you know, that was a real drive for me. And you know, I had a lot of good people around me as well, which, like I said previously, you know, it helped me along the way. But there's just that that drive and that will to, to, to come back and prove everyone that I'm, you know, I can get back and play at the highest level. And that's my only driving factor. Um, and I'm really excited about, you know, getting back to getting back to rugby and getting back into the games. And coming back, time a lot of time has obviously passed, and the dynam dynamics of the club has changed. What are your views on the club right now, and do you feel like it's a fresh start for yourself as well? Um, yeah, it is, and you know, like you said about the adversity, you know, I, I didn't really prepare myself really for, for what happened. It's kind of sort of it took me after the first couple of months, you know, it really started to, to hit home how, how difficult this process is going to be, but. You know, being here, um, being around the boys, you know, watching them succeed and get into that top six last year was massive. You know, I was trying to as much as possible try to support the boys off the field and coming to the games and supporting them. And you know, we've got ourselves into a real good position now going into this year. Um, and the owners and, and Dimes, you know, they made some fantastic signings. I mean, you can only see from the, the Prairie brothers and the other South Africans and, and Simon Hamsley just joined as well. You know, we've got some top quality players uh, at the club now. So we already had a real good, you know, strong group of players and now we're added some, some quality and some robustness to our squad. And I feel like this year we can really challenge for that top four and, and genuinely really challenge for on all fronts. And it's clear that you're growing in confidence you know, after travelling to Philadelphia, going to all these places and growing as a player and training. But I'm guessing you're drawing different energy now being around the lads that where you know, you're going to be fighting for championships, you're going to be looking to win key games and you're going to be drawing energy from the fans this season. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, Philadelphia is massive for me. Uh, we've done all the hard work. Um, Nav, John, James, uh, the whole medical team, you know, we, we've done a lot of the hard work going, you know, going into Philadelphia. Um, it was then about being guided by someone who had expertise and, and getting me back to the level that I am. Um, and from the first week, first day to, to the last day, you know, really transformed me. And, you know, Bill Mills, you can see why a lot of people go to him. He's just, he just knows what he's doing and he builds that, instills that confidence in you, um, in your body. And, uh, you know, I came off the back of that trip uh, full of smiles and I can't really take a smile from place at the moment. Just uh, being amongst the boys, training every day, um, it's like a dream come true, really. So, um, yeah, look, I'm really, really excited, really grateful. Um, you know, I've got to thank God. <laughs> and all the support from everyone has been absolutely massive. And you'll have seen the, the Premiership fixtures for next season. How enticing is it facing a team like Gloucester in the opening game? The Gloucester have uh, always been a tough side to play. Um, you know, as you can see from 20, 2010, 2011 when I first started to, to now, you know, the, the league's got more competitive. Um, everyone's improving, everyone's making better signings, players getting better and stronger. Um, and as you can see from Gloucester last year, you know, with 
Sana Cipriani and, and new coaches, they've really come on leaps and bounds. So, you know, they've got attacking threats all over. It's going to be a very tough game. Um, but, you know, we're still Sharks and, you know, uh, we're, we're all back ourselves to beat anyone on our, on our day. So, um, we'll, we'll, we'll be working hard over the next few months, making sure we get ourselves in peak fit, physical and fitness condition. Um, and then with a few games in those Premiership Cups, heading into that game, I'm sure we'll be, we'll be right on point for them.